It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Those are some blue eyes I'm seeing on the big screen, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, those blue eyes belong to the very handsome Greg Warren. Greggy! Uh, fresh from the barbershop, it looks like. They twinkle, don't they? Nice uh, crisp haircut. Mm, uh, hi, Greg. How are you? Hey, guys. How you doing? Good, good. Good to see you. No, yeah, uh, I'm coming to you uh, from a uh, hotel room, so no no Warren picture. This oh. week. Uh, I wanted to talk to you today about an important topic, the the history of ketchup. <laughs> oh, how about that? <laughs> cool. Yeah. Are you finally going to explain ketchup and cats up to us? Uh, I tried to get into that, Josh, and I couldn't get a lot of good answers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they tell me, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody doesn't um, want us to know something. <laughs> I know something's up there, yeah. man, because it's, man, it is, it's, it's CIA type stuff. You really can't get to it. Uh, and, t and Tom hasn't given me quite the research budget that I need. Uh, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> Um, All right. Now, ketchup, uh, uh, guys, it uh, it was uh, known as early as 300 B.C. in Imperial China. Huh. Um, back in the day, guys, ketchup had nothing to do with tomatoes. Yeah, wasn't uh, it I kind of a in, fish sauce? Yes. Here's an early recipe. Uh, intestine, stomach, and bladder of yellow fish. Mm -hmm. uh, add moderate amount of salt. Seal tightly. Incubate in sun. 20 days in the summer, 50 in the spring or fall, Yikes. 100 days in the and winter. Then, and then, ah. then it's to say pick up casket. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, Man. That is really disgusting. Oh, well, no, no. Here's the thing. And I got, guys, I got to stress with this recipe, um, uh, only a moderate amount of salt uh, or it won't taste like intestine, stomach, and bladder <laughs> of yellow fish. Don't overpower the flavors. Sure. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was called the co hyphen chiup. Uh, okay. And that's how we got to uh, catch up. Uh, now, uh, of course, the, uh, the the traders found it and they brought it back to the West. Um, and it was very popular, uh, especially in England. But again, nothing to do with tomatoes. England had several uh, varieties. Uh, uh, mushroom ketchup was very popular. That tastes a lot like Worcestershire sauce, hmm. anchovy based ketchup. And then uh, walnut ketchup, that was that was Jane Austen's favorite. How about uh, that? Walnut ketchup. You guys, and, and uh, back in the day, if Jane got behind something, <laughs> yeah. You know about? yeah. 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 She was... Supply chain issues. <laughs> oh, when, yeah. when, when the Brits found out Janie liked the walnut ketchup, you could not keep it on the shelf. <laughs> yeah. uh, 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 uh. It was it was pretty much anything uh, you wanted it to be back then. Huh. Um, and then in 1812, uh, w Willie, there was a war in 1812. What was that called? Um, French and Indian War, maybe. <laughs> Try the uh, War, war of 1812, then probably. Yeah. Ah, good job, Willie. Hey, that kid's a history you. history there buff. I'll tell you what. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that that was the first tomato ketchup, and that was James Meese. Um, and uh, James uh, called tomatoes. Uh, Love apples. They oh. were, uh, yeah, yeah, they were a supposed aphrodisiac. It was very confusing back in the time if a, a lady said uh, she wanted to show you her love apples. Uh, yeah. It might mean take a look at her tomato garden. Love apple a day. Some really they disappointed very, yeah. fellas back in the day. A lot of guys huh? going, well, this is uh, yeah. not what I expected. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is, well, yeah, they're sure, certainly nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I was hoping uh, more for melons, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, um, so also, oh, oh, also uh, the reason why it took so long uh, to, to put tomatoes into ketchup is uh, people thought tomatoes were poisonous back then. Hmm. Um, they 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 were identical to the uh, nightshade berry. Right, and those were poisonous. Um, some wealthy Englishmen ate tomatoes on on lead and pewter plates, oh. and the tomato acid leached into the lead, and they got lead poisoning, and they blamed the tomatoes. Oh. Of course. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now this was interesting. Uh, some people started to change, and they started saying, "Hey, they're not poisonous." Colonel Robert Gibbon of uh, New Jersey. Uh, stood on the courtyard steps and ate a basket of tomatoes to prove that they were not poisonous. On, on the now, Josh, uh, one time in Omaha, I saw you uh, eat three 
ice cream sandwich was <laughs> was that uh I, look, I had to show the people <laughs> yeah, yeah. that these were safe to consume. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> and even though they yelled, we're convinced after I ate the first one, I said, I don't think you are. <laughs> Stand back. Give yeah. me a minute. Um, enter Henry Hines, 1876. Yes, Here he comes. Henry Hines, very morally strong guy, a visionary. The factories that this guy ran um, were immaculate. He And he, he treated his workers really well. He gave them uh, health insurance, dental insurance, uh, the factories. It was like Google. They had uh, a cafeteria, pools, gyms, roof gardens. Get this. If you worked at Heinz, you you had your own manicurist, so, so you kept your fingernails clean. That's great. Uh, How about that? Pretty, pretty, pretty cool stuff. Huh. Um, it, he lost it, it, billions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fifty-seven billion. Yeah. Where do you, where do you, <laughs> to be precise. Where do you think we were wrong? I think it was a manicure. Yeah. yeah. And what, what year was this? This was 1876 that he uh, found. Wow, that is uh, ahead of its time. Yeah, he was, was going to make yeah. sure Upton had nothing to write about. <laughs> Tom, can we get a manicurist here? That'd be fun. That'd make her yeah, shine. And that would be that would at least for the that would be great. That'd be uh, great. Uh, <laughs> um, Tom, you mentioned something about 57. Um, well, yeah, of course, is there, are there 57 varieties of Heinz ketchup? There are not. Uh, as honorable as a man as H.J. was, he was a liar when it came to 57. <laughs> huh. um, he was in New York City one time and saw this shoe store that said 21 varieties of shoes. <laughs> um, and he thought that sounded cool. So he, there's a lot of different stories, uh, differing stories about where 57 came from. I... Uh, read that uh, his favorite number was five and his wife's favorite number was seven. <laughs> um, so they came up with 57 varieties, which is printed on every uh, sure. uh, Famously, ketchup yes. bottle. Yeah, yeah. And here, a couple of things on that. One, if you've got a favorite number, just grow up. <laughs> 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 well, you tell that to number two. <laughs> yeah. um, it it uh, now it took uh, actually Heinz a while uh, to find uh, pure ingredients. He wanted to make his his ketchup pure and, and free of all the uh, the coal tar. Uh, in 1906, <laughs> uh, 1906, he found a, a, a preservative free recipe, and uh, his idea was put it in a clear bottle so you could see what's going on. Oh, uh -huh. um, yeah. Before that, it was like an opaque bottle. So, and if you notice, all you know, ketchup bottles are are clear. Um, it uh, it reminds me of I have always wondered about the uh, the table side guacamole because it's it's the only it's the only food that they prepare at table side. There must have been some funny stuff going on with guacamole <laughs> back in the day that now they're like, see? No, see, these are real avocados. We're not pulling that garbage anymore. Uh, <laughs> um, now, ketchup, uh, by the way, is a, uh, a non-Newtonian fluid. Sure. That sure, means, sure. Uh, yeah, that no, mean? uh, <laughs> it means how much stress is applied yeah. to it. The amount of stress uh, is less. Quick, uh, quickens the flow. Yeah, it really quickens everything. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, you're just saying what I said I'm right after I said it. Ketchup, guys, it's pretty slow. It, it naturally it, it uh, flows at 147 feet per, feet per hour. <laughs> wow, but, they they measured that. Boy, and is, they, is Heinz the number one? I assume. Heinz is is overwhelmingly the number one. There's only one other brand that I could see that made any. Other than the private label stuff, uh, but Hunts is a uh, Hunts has been around for a long time. And is that a ketchup or a catsup? I believe Hunts. I don't know that. I, now Heinz was a catsup for a while, uh, and and then they they switched to ketchup pretty quick. Actually, the, ketchup. the Hunts company had a uh, a lady in charge. <laughs> I'm, I'm already um, on board. No, no. Her name was uh, oh boy Helen, and uh, if you needed uh, ketchup, you went to Helen Hunt for it. So. <laughs> 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 Couple should things here. Should I was have heard them off the air. Googling God. ketchup. What a mess. Fascinating story about the history of ketchup from uh, Greg Warren. Um, I stumbled upon this one out of Oregon. An 86-year-old man is on trial for uh, 
<laughs> I probably should have read, read a little bit. <laughs> what? For what? <laughs> you fool. Who did he, who, who, who did he kill? Uh, somebody. Somebody. Very close to him. <laughs> um, his chief complaint was that she didn't tighten the lid on the ketchup bottle. <laughs> Do you still buy your ketchup in a bottle or don't you have the squeeze? Actually... I love Heinz ketchup, don't get me, but there's another ketchup out there that I order <laughs> on Amazon, and it's, I had it in Chicago, and I, I chased it down. It's called 78 Red Ketchup, and Ew. it's got a certain, the I, French call it, I don't know what. Chicken, can I tell you something? <laughs> so, oh, it's got the I don't know what. It's yeah. so delicious. Chicken, can I tell you something? You are a great Midwestern man, and oh, now yeah. you're, you're being a snooty jerk That's eating right. sweet '78 ketchup. I've, I've had, I've had the '78. Have you had it? You know, no, I'm a Heinzman. I was, I was uh, gifted a bottle of that. Heinz. So, so they they put a number on it to <laughs> to just riff off of Heinz. Obviously. I don't think so. I don't think. Well, then they would have gone with so. '75. What other ketchup has a what a number on it? I believe that was the year. Why didn't they just go '58? Wait a minute. We're talking about the ketchup you love and order. Uh. <laughs> anyway. Ace, I like the chicken. Ace, help me here. Anymore. What is the name of the... I've been using a different type of uh, condiment on my burgers. What's that stuff called again? Sir Kensington. Sir Kensington. Yeah, now, what's Kensington. that? That's ketchup or mayonnaise? It's kind of they a make combination. A lot of condiments. It, it's oh. really good. I think it's organic. Organically made. That's the it's whole something thing. that somebody... I forget who stumbled on it, probably. And Ace, Kelly. do you delicious. leave all your condiments out? Uh, yes. Uh, mayonnaise included. Not mayonnaise. Not mayonnaise. No. Just get ketchup and mustard. Ketchup's supposed you to be refrigerated. You don't put mustard in your refrigerator and ketchup? I do. Yeah, both in, both in there. I like yeah. it. Me too. Me too. Yeah, I like him in there. That keeps the rats out of him. <laughs> you have rats in your house? Wow. Out. It's, I'm kidding. You're getting no, so but I, I, weird. If I he has keep... rats in his house, you can bet so they're white. I guess we're not going <laughs> to. <laughs> I, um, I, boy, I don't know. I, I don't, I, no questions. Okay. I had company over the weekend. Sure. And, uh, oh, really? How, how did it go? <laughs> uh, Sunday morning, we had breakfast. Oh, and, uh, an overnight. I went upstairs, and uh, normally I clean everything up or whatever. And I, and now, I by upstairs, down. do you mean out of the pit into the basement? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's right. <laughs> you, gave went, uh, you gave her the We Everything was still subterranean, but I was. <laughs> she was sub-subterranean. Oh, well. my gosh. Yeah. It uses the lotion or it gets so the She had put the syrup... In the refrigerator. <gasps> um, who does that? Apparently she does. Well, not in my house ever again. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Wait a second. Are you making pancakes in the morning after? On Sunday morning after an overnighter. Somebody's in love. Uh, gentlemen. Uh, this is the way the credits are still rolling. Oh, yeah. A Starring. gentleman <laughs> makes pancakes on Sunday morning. I door dashed. <laughs> Oh. Well, no. W S S. Hey, let me let me get that. <laughs> Hello, Bob and Tom show. This is Dick Hitswater sitting in for Peter Butternuts, and this <laughs> is some other sure, news. Sure. <laughs> well, as required by law, we offer the following public service announcements. Oh. Now, Tom, now, Dick, for the what? uninitiated to PSAs and radio, <laughs> would you mind telling the listeners what a PSA is? Being well, it, as, as you pointed out, you it stands for it, it stands for public service oh. announcements. Oh. And, uh, yeah, and yeah. radio and television stations are required. You, you've to chosen to complicate read. these scripts, have you? <laughs> oh, this can only, this can only, that, that's the problem. Here They're not clear. Uh, Dick, wait until the other person stops talking. Okay, okay, uh, go ahead. Dick, so you have some public service announcements. Go ahead. Did you have one you wanted to tell us about? No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, okay, fine. Attention all children, never run with scissors. If you need to transport scissors quickly, it's best just heave them across the room at your sister. <laughs> Yes. Attention adults, before having dinner guests over to your house, make sure that your wife's dildos are removed from the dishwasher. What is that? These are public service announcements that must be made. Be sure all of your medication is labeled properly. It makes it easier for your children's friends to decide which drugs to steal from your medicine cabinet when they visit. Now, if you cut yourself while at a public swimming pool, band aid can most often be found floating in the deep end. In a pinch, 
chopsticks from a Chinese carryout order can be used to gouge out a drug dealer's eyeball in case he shorts you on your bag of reefer. Is that right? I, uh... Very important. <laughs> and limit your salt intake because high blood pressure is known as the silent killer. Another silent killer is a ninja who farts anthrax. <laughs> This is Dick Hitwater sitting in for Peter Butternuts. And this has been some other news. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.